Okay guys, uh, we're, we're covering this machine down. Now we're going to replace the reversing valve. We're working away here, and the subcooler, and the cover tank, and uh, that's good. Alright, I'll uh, get some more video and uh, get along with this. Okay guys, uh, we got our new reversing valve sweated in. Uh, I always leave the paper towels on there until I'm very sure that I don't have any more leaks. It's kind of difficult to wrap them around there. That one was a little bit difficult. Um, it's kind of a kind of a tight spot uh, to work in. You can see here around me what I got to work with. There's a bunch of yellow fuzzy behind me. As a matter of fact, I'm going to relocate that because I had a bunch of itchies last night <laughs> more bueno alright well uh, as you can see huh, all with our micron yellow jacket micron gauge we were pulled down to 480 microns with the system isolated Yeah, 480, 490. So that's good. Um, I ran out of nitro once again right as I was brazing yesterday, so I didn't get a chance to put um, a positive pressure of nitrogen on there. Um, but as you know, uh, if you have even the smallest leak, uh, even, there's no way you could pull down anywhere anywhere close to 500 microns. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. Um, go ahead, as I've only had it on there for about 20 minutes, and I even at 15 minutes, and my oil, my oil is not all that clean, I don't change it, then maybe a couple, couple jobs, couple jobs with it, so, uh, so yeah, uh, that should be good, I'll let it run for a little while, just to make sure she's good and dehydrated, uh, we're gonna pick up the nitro, and, uh, We've got a three ton unit right here with a bad reversing valve too, so we're going to tackle that next. I also forgot yeah. to mention, did manage to squeeze in a bi-flow dryer there to those <laughs> to those of you who said it couldn't be done. There it is. Not easy. I was thinking about putting it right here, but um, I thought that would be better. Uh, Ideally, I'd like to get a suction line dryer, but that's obviously not going to happen. That's clear. Um, so, there you have it. Bi flow dryer, and we're pulled down to 400 microns now. Um, got it isolated down to 400 microns. I'm going to keep evacuating itself. Still hasn't been that long. Yeah, we've got some nitrogen and some other stuff. Put some, uh, all right. Okay, friends, uh, we have our reversing valve replaced and the unit running and cooling like a champ. Um, but we are noticing uh, something of a high head pressure situation still. The suction pressure is a little bit high also, high to normal. Um, and just you know, feel the water, uh, it's about 75 degrees going in. And, uh, I'm not feeling a whole lot of heat. It's pretty warm inside the suite. I should be feeling more heat being rejected than that. Uh, and without putting, I mean, of course, putting a temperature clamp on there would be more accurate, but um, I don't need to do that. I know the condenser's dirty, so we're going to take these loose right over here, up there, and flush, flush this bad boy. So. Okay, this is all running, uh, running like a champ, and uh, got the, we cleaned the condenser out, got all kinds of rusty shit in there, got the head pressure down to a reasonable rate, and we're going to call this one done. Absolutely.